Let's send it out to Caroline. I think she's over in Brewer still. Let's see what's going on out there. Hey, Aaron. Yeah, it's the same situation here in Eastern Maine. I'm here on Wilson Street in Brewer. Um, you know, it's just a slushy mess. All the snow that we got is just turning into slush on the roads. On the main street here, it's pretty, it's pretty plowed. It's pretty clear. But just on those secondary streets, just try and keep it, you know, drive with caution. Uh, just so you don't hydroplane with all of that mess. You know, we've seen so many snowstorms within the within the past week. Um, the folks at uh, the Red Cross in, in Bangor want to make sure that even Mainers who are experienced with these sort of harsh winters are prepared when it comes to snowstorms. Now, Todd, you're going to love this one. That means keeping up with winter weather warnings uh, make, to make sure you have enough time to get prepared. If you find yourself outdoors on a day like this, just make sure, you know, lots of layers, stay bundled up. Things like frostbite and hypothermia can creep up pretty pretty easy um, with symptoms including, you know, numbness or shivering or even weakness. When indoors, make sure to stay three feet away from any heat source. That means, you know, if you have some wet mittens and, you know, you want to put it near the fireplace, but that can really be a, a you know, a fire hazard. And if the if the power does go out in your home or apartment, make sure to not use candles and just use, you know, those handheld flashlights. Everybody in the household should have a flashlight by their bedside. A lot of people think, oh, I have my phone. But if you go through a power outage, we want to make sure that those phones are charged. And if they are charged, we want to be able to use them for a phone call um, in case we do have an emergency where we need to call somebody else. Now, also, according to the Red Cross, if you plan on, you know, going out in your car, make sure to also have some sort of emergency kit to place in your car, you know, things like warm clothes, a blanket or any any tools that you might need needing. Um, you know, like jumper cables. And also a good thing to have is maybe like a red red cloth or a bright light to sort of flash in case you're in an emergency. Uh, live in Brewer, Caroline LaCour, News Center, Maine.